You are watching a training video. Other types of videos are available on my site. Welcome to this new video from the ASA Art 3D channel. We will see together how to use the glare node and how we can act on its different parameters. To get started, we'll first see what the intro scene is made of. First, we have a central text that will be used to see the effects of the glare node. We then have a lamp linked by a follow path to a Bezier curve. This will allow us to see the effects of the glare node over 360 degrees. To illuminate the scene, I added a lamp some distance from the text. Two cameras are installed to be able to appreciate the scene from different angles. Now that the scene is ready, we will go to the compositing editor to insert the glare node with its default options and see the result. Go to the compositing editor. With Shift A, add a glare node and insert it between the render layers and the composite node. If the viewer node is enabled, you can immediately see the result. Everything is ready. We can now test the different parameters of the node and see the effects. The quality parameter will determine the rendering method of the effect and therefore its quality. The choice of quality will therefore depend on your needs. The iteration parameter allows you to adjust the rendering precision. A higher value will benefit from a better result, but a longer rendering time. The color modular field will act on the colors and on the quality of the dispersion. Here is an example of modifying the color modula with a front light. Here is an example of modifying the color module with rear lighting. The mix field allows you to define the strength of the glare effect. Minus 1 corresponds to 0 effect and plus 1 corresponds to 100% effect. The threshold field defines the pixels affected by the glare. Only pixels greater than this value are taken into account. Here is an example of modifying the threshold field. The streaks field determines the number of streaks to be generated. The angle offset field determines the orientation of the streaks over 180 degrees. The fade field is used to determine the degree of saturation of the color of the glare effect. Here is the same effect with a rotating light. The combination of the position of the lamp and the selected effects give very interesting and easy to do animations. Finally, I suggest you see how it is possible to limit the glare effect to specific objects. First select your text. Then go to the setting tab of your material. Add an identifier in the pass index. Now go to the view layer properties tab. Activate the material index option. This makes it accessible in the render layers node during compositing. Add an ID mask and link it to the render layers node as indicated. Enter the material ID number in the ID mask node. As you can see, only text is now selected. Add a mix node and choose the multiply option. Link the render layers node to the mix node. The text selection and the color of the render layers are now overlapped. Insert the glare node between the mix node and the viewer node. The glare effect on selection is now apparent. Add a mix node and choose the add option. All you have to do now is connect the render layers node to the mix node and the mix node to the composite node. That's all, enjoy it. 
Thanks you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates.